Good day. This presentation is one in a series of lectures on evidence-based practice in nursing. Findings from research in nursing practice have led to several changes in the way nurses deliver care. In this series, we will explore practices that have been deemed obsolete in view of new scientific evidence and data. We will also explore what the current thoughts are and what procedures have changed as a result of these evidence. Traditionally, we had positioned patients in shock in Trendelenburg position with the rationale offered that in shock, it is essential to maintain perfusion to the vital organs, such as the brain and the heart. Trendelenburg positioning was originally developed in 1880 with the belief that putting patients with their head dependent increases circulation to the brain and the heart during periods of shock or hypotension. In fact, this procedure is still widely practiced today. Despite the findings of evidence that positioning patients in shock in Trendelenburg does not result in increased cardiac output or blood pressure. On the contrary, Trendelenburg positioning may actually increase the risk of increased intracranial pressure. In addition, because of the dependent positioning, the diaphragm is pushed against the lungs and alters respiratory mechanics of breathing. This is particularly true in, patient, true in patients who are obese or who have underlying pulmonary pathology. The recommendation of evidence-based practice in nursing is to stop using Trendelenburg to manage hypotension shock. An accepted alternative to this, if necessary, is to position these patients with the lower extremities elevated and the patient flat rather than placing the whole bed with the head down, known as Trendelenburg position. This is the conclusion of part one in the evidence-based practice in nursing series presented by Dr. Tom Madaya. I look forward to seeing you in part two of this series. Thank you for your participation, and if you wish to avail of this series, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you once again.